I'm now going to show you how to get into the configuration menu of one of the TC controllers. Turn the power on and hold down the I button. This has to be held down for about I think 5 to 10 seconds to then enter the configuration menu. Once your trip appears, release the button and you can step through all the settings by actually just using the following button. This is for the alarm type, press out to the right. AT is the alarm temperature. This then is the actual kilowatt rating of the kiln. You can select this anywhere from 3 kilowatts up to about 50 kilowatts. It's quite a useful feature because it enables you to see how much power your kiln is using throughout the firing. We've then got um, OT and this is currently set at 50. This is basically a, a, an onboard temperature trip that's built inside the controller so if the electronics get to 50 degrees they then switch the controller off and show an alarm. EL is then the engineering level. You can't go any further through this menu until you actually enter the engineering level which you have to step up to program 10. Once you get to item 10 it's the thermocouple type which you can select between type N, type K, type S and type R. All Pottercraft controllers are type R by default. We can then ask the controller to program in either degree centigrade or degrees F. We then got um, the ramp units. We just normally leave these as R, which is for a rate rather than a time. We then got a set point limit. On most Pottercraft controllers, this is either 1100, 1150, 1260, or 1300, depending on the unit. You then got LA, which is the language, so it can either be in English or German. We've got error codes, these can be enabled or disabled. Enable error 2, this is for one of the alarm codes. We've got a pause feature. Offsets, proportional band, integral time, derivative, and that's it for this particular unit. To actually exit the menu, you then press the button with a triangle and the square. And that's the end of how to get through the special engineering menu. Thank you.